Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me to address you today on one of the most critical topics facing not just my country, but most of the countries in the Middle East and many of our trading partners throughout Africa and Asia. Since ancient times, those living in arid regions have always faced a precarious situation. Agriculture was, a dependent, was dependent on meager annual rains or seasonal flooding of rivers. A bad year of rain was devastating. Two bad years could bring down empires. Today, millions of people live in dry areas, and despite technology and engineering, their situation is as insecure as our forebears. The legacy of intensive farming, denuded soils and depleted aquifers, combined with climate change and exacerbated by much larger populations, place us on the brink of catastrophe. For all the advances in technology the world has witnessed in recent years, the blunt truth is that world hunger is on the rise. The estimated number of undernourished people around the globe increased from 777 million in 2015 to 815 million in 2016. Almost one-eighth of the world's population lacks food security. As climate change accelerates, we will witness more desertification and more droughts in already vulnerable areas around the globe. In the UAE, we are no stranger to these challenges. Our land is dry, our resources scant. Our leadership here in the UAE has placed sustainable development as a priority. Specifically, we are trying to balance the challenges posed by the food, energy, water nexus. Water and energy are required to produce food, and in many parts of the world, including the UAE, energy is required to produce water itself. These three critical resources are very strongly interlinked. Let me give you a glimpse of these three pillars in the context of the UAE. So let's take a look at water. Here in the UAE, agriculture is the country's thirstiest industry. It accounts for more than 70% of the total fresh water consumption, with most of it coming from the groundwater. But as groundwater depletes, more of the country's fresh water requirements need to be met by energy intensive desalination methods. And so, without further ado, consolidated efforts were taken between our federal and local water authorities and many other stakeholders to define a vision for the water sector in the UAE so as to ensure its sustainable use and adaptability to future demands. And thus, the UAE Water Security Strategy 2036 was born. Now let's look at energy. Energy doesn't just play a critical role in our water production to grow food, but is also a vital input in growing, processing, packaging, distributing, storing, preparing, serving, and even disposing of food. When looking at our food supply through the lens of energy use, we will find opportunities for smart policies. We will find opportunities for innovative technologies, using renewables, for example, which we are heavily discussing in the last few days, and new dietary choices that can potentially solve food and energy problems together. Research and development of innovative technologies are absolutely essential to enable humankind to progress and advance without straining the planet's natural resources. The UAE has taken great strides in R&D. One project, which is for me one of the most beautiful examples of how food, energy, water nexus is brought into light, is a pilot research facility in Mazdar City to grow seafood and biofuel in the desert using seawater, desert land, and sun. These three things are what arid regions usually have. The outcomes of this project will play a critical role in supporting regional food, water, and energy security. To succeed requires more than R&D, policies, and legislation. 
We must secure that we have the buy-in of the private sector and of every individual in the UAE. The general public's attitudes and actions provide the essential momentum for our efforts. Individuals can make personal efforts to reduce food wastage, in addition to minimizing food mileage through buying local or even homegrown foods. Awareness, awareness, awareness is a must when it comes to nutritious food consumption and reduced food wastage. In this, we must enlist the full support and cooperation of our most valuable resource, as you heard yesterday, our youth. They have the knowledge, the drive, the determination, and social responsibility to make real change. Through changing their own behavior, however small, they can affect greater change by altering market behavior, forcing private businesses to match consumer demand and needs. The dry and arid world surrounding us, spanning Arabia, North Africa, and the Sahel, boasts a youthful population. By empowering this youth and by entrusting them to be the pioneers and engineers of a sustainable future, it is my hope that we can enact our own butterfly effect towards global food security. I wish you a good session with the panelists and a good day. Thank you.